morning everyone how are you after a long time I have uh, started to create a new uh, tutorial on AWS so today I'm going to show you how you can create uh, a new application in Elastic Beanstalk so uh, previously I have worked with EC2 and then RDS and all those things where you need to manage your servers create servers and all those things Elastic Beanstalk is a uh, complete full solution for you if you do not want to manage your uh, servers so setting up servers up and running those creating networking all those things is managed by Beanstalk so you just write your code upload that to the Beanstalk and then the Beanstalk does the rest so everything depends on Beanstalk so let's get started how can I do that so uh, I'm in services and then uh, if I go to pin stock plastic pin stock I come to this uh, interface with a welcome screen then I get started so it's pretty easy then I give application name uh, I have a simple application that needs to be run it's an HTML uh, simple site now I can choose different platforms as you can see I have docker I have go.net java php python tomcat everything you want and also pre-configured docker as well go plus fish python i don't want i just want to choose php here at this moment because um, it's a simple uh, static website i just want to test elastic beanstalk whether it works sample application no i didn't upload your code i want to upload my code upload here and then um, browse my code this is my site simple static site and i have make zip it into this directory so let's upload that okay I have started uploading the file its size around uh, 6 megabyte so might take around 30 seconds to 40 seconds based on my internet connectivity oh it's done here you can see it's edit source application code tagging if you want to add tagging then you can do let's say uh, Project Reddit. So the theme is it's a bit like Reddit. So create application. Okay. Now, as you can see, it is doing everything: it's setting up, running up EC2 instance, setting up those Apache servers, configuring PHP, configuring networking, assigning your Elastic IP or normal IP creating security groups everything it's doing on behalf of you and you don't have to do anything so it might take some time I'm around two to three minutes be patient while I take a cup of coffee and see everything is done it's really useful for those people who don't want to spend time on learning all those things of system administrations servers networking securities all those things you just build a crazy app a very exciting app and you want to just push it and give the world your work to be displayed you want the world to know that you have built this thing and you don't want to waste time to learning all those things which is maybe not required in your future you want to uh, only work for developer and build applications so then elastic beanstalk is a perfect tool for you is easy to use as I said I have nothing need to be done I just upload my code and it just runs it just runs that's it there is uh, no configuration no command prompt nothing need to log in as a shell no need to configure as security groups no need to configure as PPC and all those things it's so complex but here it's just upload your code and it runs that's it and it will give you a uh, temporary URL but yeah there is the temporary URL that it's generated but you can link your domain with this as well so probably I can show you that as uh, in future that how you can link your elastic bit to a domain but uh, that should be pretty much uh, simple just creating your domain in root 53 and point it to the elastic beanstalk 
okay um, it is still creating as you can see I think it's almost done yeah health is okay and then platform okay configurations if I see um, on the background it uses some softwares so these are the PHP configurations you can modify as well that's awesome you, you can modify PHP settings via this interface I mean uh, memory limit I just want to make it like uh, 128 hello if you are on I just want to off display errors I want to on this time I want 300 seconds that's awesome if you have seen my other videos you need to log into terminal to change those it's pretty much tough and if you you need to run those into comments with vim editor and if you miss one line then the whole application just breaks and you become crazy okay so that's easy you, you're just changing a php configuration from the interface that's amazing then you have logs as well logs that is generated by the two instances then you have health what is the overall health of your application you have monitoring that means whether uh, you can see how many CPU utilization, how many uh, networking informations are there. You can see alarms. If you can set alarms as well, uh, manage updates, events, and uh, tags. Events are actually displays what is going on here. So you can see uh, environment is creating, and then uh, you get an IP address. Get a really launch instance edit application so uh, all is done in the background and um, if you want to know what's going on in the background you just go to EC2 I open a new window by the way I'm starting using Microsoft Edge and it looks still looks a bit uh, funny but for some reason I'm using Edge so uh, running instances okay here you can see that there is an automatically an instance has been created by the pin stop and you don't have to do anything here at all it gives ppc security group everything we have assigned okay so let's go here and we can see our application is up and running and this is our site Reddit block. Awesome. I'm really excited to uh, see that people are more and more using uh, Elastic Beanstalk, especially those who are uh, especially expert on designing applications or maybe doing something, um, um, programming and apps, all those things. And you just want to don't want to mess with servers, then Elastic Beanstalk is a perfect thing for you okay so that's that's that and uh, you can upload new version by clicking on upload and deploy just upload your package in a new version and then uh, you can you can deploy that you can manage previous versions as well this is my initial version all those versions i upload will be kept here and you can revert your old version into this you can also use uh, database as well if you wanted to use like RDS you can create an RDS and then create use any password over there and use that so it's really good for WordPress site as well if you wanted to use so thank you for watching my video and I wish you success in your uh, career and hopefully we will see we will meet again thank you and bye